So let us come to let us come to this equation. N2 plus N2 in the gaseous state plus 3H2 again gaseous giving you 2NH3 gaseous. Okay? Pretty simple. Start with Kp. Kp will be what? Will be pressure of NH3 whole square upon upon pressure of N2 into pressure of H2 whole cube huh? no why RT what do you mean I am writing KP now I can write this as the concentration of NH3 into RT square because because any pressure is concentration multiplied by RT upon concentration of N2 into RT into concentration of H2 into RT squared cubed sorry I'm sorry it's cubed what is that equal to this is concentration of NH3 upon concentration of N2 into concentration of H2 whole cube into RT square NH3 whole square yes into RT square upon RT into RT whole cube to RT whole cube I'm sorry now this is 4 2 minus 4 is minus 2 so it is and what is this what is this this is KC into RT to the power minus 2 so they can be different right but they are very simply related as we'll soon see okay you do not have to keep on writing these equations over and over again fine that is not required so what do we do let us pick up a let us pick up a, a general equation so these are reaction specific things and you should not start learning them by heart so this is specifically for for a reaction like this of, of ammonia synthesis okay now let us try to pick up do I raise this hmm? Now let us try to understand a reaction which is like this and start writing and they are all in gaseous phase okay they are all in gaseous phase fine So how do I define my Kp? My Kp is, is pressure of C to the power C, is it not? Into pressure of D to the power small d divided by pressure of A to the power small a, pressure of B to the power small b.
So what is that pressure? That pressure is the concentration of C multiplied by RT to the power small c into concentration of D into RT to the power small d divided by concentration of A into RT to the power small a concentration of B into RT to the power small b, right? That simple. Now that gives me concentration of C into concentration of D to the power D upon concentration of A to the power A into concentration of B to the power B into RT to the power C plus D here, right? And, and this is A plus B. So that should go up and get subtracted, is it not? Now this is what? This is Kc into Rt to the power C plus D minus A plus B. RT to the power delta N where what is delta N? Delta N is the delta N where now it becomes pretty simple to write these equations where delta N is equal to delta N is equal to the sum of the number of moles in the product in the product or of the products of the products minus sum of the number of moles of the reactants is it not of the reactants Correct. So you have to do nothing. What do you do? We have Kp as this. Now this reaction that, that we had written last, if you apply this, if you apply this here, if you apply this here, you know it is Kp maybe I'll use a different color, Kp, okay, I'm applying this, 2, 1 plus 1, 2, into Rt to the power 2 minus 2, which is equal to Kp into Rt to the power 0, which is Kp. Kp is equal to this. So, so it implies that Kp is equal to Kc. Here, Kp is equal to 2 minus 4. Right? So, Kp is equal to Kc into Rt to the power 2 minus 4, which is equal to Kc into Rt to the power minus 2. And that is what we had got. Right, that's what we had got. Okay, simple. So that's how your Kp and Kc are related, and we'll soon see that maybe calculating Kp in a given situation when we you have gases that becomes simpler than calculating Kc, but somehow Kc can be retrieved back from that Kp. Correct, very easily.
okay so in such cases you first calculate kp then then try to find kc from here so kc will be kp into rt to the power minus delta m okay because ultimately at the end of the day it is kc one standard one standard constant that we'll be dealing with for finding out the extent to which a reaction has gone in a particular direction correct we understand okay so so let us try to solve some problems <clears throat> 